Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to show how to calculate the slew rate of a two-stage OTA. Basically, slew rate is a measure of how fast its input, input, sorry, how fast its output holds its response to a change of its input. So, uh, to measure or calculate the slew rate, basically we put a square wave in input and then we we observe its response in output. How fast the response will come. So to analyze this circuit, let's let's put a B pulse in input. So here uh, this biasing voltage is same, which is 800 millivolt. AC magnet is, is not required because uh, we perform transient analysis to show. To, to calculate its slew rate, uh, as it is a square wave, the starts from zero volt and uh, go to the the VDD, which is uh, one point two volt. Then period is set to hundred microsecond. Also, here is a delay time. Delay time that's mean uh, the it, it, the signal starts with a one microsecond delay, and the rise time. And a fall time. Then the pulse width is a half of period. I'm sure. After set all this parameter, then click OK. And this and, and this test, test branch is uh, set up with a negative feedback. Unity unity gain loop. Unity gain setup. And close. Well, after that, then we run the ADL I already launched the ADL then in transient analysis here I said stop time is 500 micro because my uh, because my period is 100 so let's start the simulation we were going to start let's to be plotted, I'm going to show the input and output. Let's run the simulation. Well, that is the input, and this is the output. Ideally, what we prefer that after we put is any input in. OTA that will become output without any delay but here you can see here is some delay that is because of the slew rate it is takes some time to uh, show the input and output side and the output side so to calculate the slew rate we have to we, we have to find the dy by dx in output plot so to measure the dy by dx, uh, let's let's set a linear region. Okay, here. Field. Here, here is the linear region. Region. So. Or you can go here, but this is not linear. Well, then let's sell. I need the Y tool. And Y1. Stall. Swap. This Y2 is 
967. And Y one one hundred four okay. The next two this two is one point live hand. Let's put in in microsecond because uh, the sleeve rate unit is volt per microsecond. This is in volt and this is in microsecond. help then I need to refund this you need Del Y Del X Well, then the slave rate. Eight point six, which is volt per microsecond unit. Well, this is our uh, sleeve rate. So, this is the way to calculate in manually, and another way to calculate the sleeve rate in by using the calculator. Let's. No. First, select BT for transient. Well, then, then we can, oh well, here is another thing. I have to know this. I need the maximum and minimum value for y-axis. So, first click on wave. And then select this wave. to y max this 1.08 and the minimum Again, twelve.
This is the eight point nine. Here also you can estimate the value from here. Uh, the minimum flow is 8.5 millivolt. 8.5. It's then the end for the calculator. New rate signal to BT Yeah. Then initial value in Y axis. Uh initial value is here eight point five. 8.5 millivolt it means five 1.8 all this okay will supply yeah, 8.71 our hand calculation is 8.5 and calculator which is 8.71 it's this it's close so here will be some difference because sorry in our hand calculation we, which is 8.6 volt per microsecond in calculator which is 8.7 uh, approximately it's it's uh, same it's, it's close there is a significant change because it's manually or another thing is by using the calculator. This, this change happens because we said the maximum value is 1.8 but in linearly we calculate it in uh, 944 millivolt. So that's why the significant change. Okay, thank you for watching this tutorial. This is basically the process to calculate the slew rate.